Hello, dear ones. Today again, I'm going to be talking about how to figure out what the truth is. How do we know what is true? Well, addressing just the political unrest and misinformation, the alternative facts, the vast spectrum of opinion. How do we sift through that and even know what is happening and what is the truth behind all the lies, behind all the the puffed up craziness that we see in the world today, especially in our nation? Well, it's not easy. But one thing that we can do is we can be centered in truth. All those who have studied the Raja Yoga course, you know about the yamas and the niyamas, the things to avoid and the things to put energy into. We've talked about them quite a bit in these daily videos. Well, those are the Ten Commandments of Yoga. And if we adhere to those personally, we will grow in the strength of truth in ourselves. And our perceptions begin to clear and we can see more clearly what is right and what is wrong. There's no substitute for growing spiritually when we're trying to discern the truth. It has to live within us. Swami Kriyananda gave us a very important teaching when he said, always keep your word. He said, even if I have said, oh, tomorrow I'm going out and getting a newspaper, and tomorrow I don't feel like getting a newspaper, I will go out and get it anyway because I said I would. So that is the depth of commitment to the truth that Swamiji told us to cultivate in ourselves. It's also a good warning for us to be careful what we promise and to always, always speak the truth, the higher, highest truth. It's important of course, not to gossip, not to judge others, not to speak negatively. Keep your speech pure. Be careful what you are saying. Think about it before you speak. Don't just babble. Don't just use filler. Swami told a wonderful story about this in saying that There were two men in India, and the older one said to the younger one, So, my boy, are you married? And the young man said, What do you mean am I married? I'm married to your own daughter. (laughs) And the older man said, Oh, well, I was just making conversation. (laughs) Don't, Don't do that. Don't just blither for the sake of hearing your own voice. Yogananda would often say to his disciples, when others are having a party, I don't think he used those words, but when other people are involved in in talking and, and carrying on, you go out into the garden, say a few kriyas, Do a few Kriyas. Always keep that inward sense of God's presence and calmness and centeredness. Don't get too caught up in hilarity, which 
There's not much hilarity right now anyway, so I think we can keep our sense of humor. But that point is very important. The more that we can live in God's presence, in our inner center, the more we will be able to discern what is true and what is false. Just to hearken back for a moment to the political scene, it's very good advice, and um, it's one of the things that Dharmadas' father does regularly, and I think many dads do this, because I've heard this from other people that their dads recommended this. So the advice is to subscribe to both a conservative newspaper or online media of some kind and a progressive or liberal news source. And read them both and try to see the underlying essence of what they are saying. Try to get both perspectives. Try to see the full spectrum. And then from there, make your own decisions. So that's a very practical thing to do. And spiritually, as I said, to always speak the truth. And also, spiritually, we have a tremendous tool given to us by our guru, which is that we should meditate, feeling God's presence, and at the end of our meditation, lift up our question into God's light. What is the truth of this situation? And as we do that, it's very important to keep our heart's feeling very clear, not, what is the truth of this? And it better be this, because this is what I really want, and this is right, right? You know, God, this is how it should be. Don't do any of that. Humbly ask, what is the truth? And if there's any constriction, any desire gnawing at your heart that it should be this or it should be that or it can't be that, let it go. Not easy to do, easy to say, but relax your heart. Relax away from desire. Desire is a very great thwarting cross current to understanding and perceiving the truth. Strive to let those desires go. Strive to let your conscience speak that still small voice within. Open your heart, open your mind, open your consciousness in receptivity to hear what God is whispering to you. And many, many times when you feel God's response, you will know that that is the right thing. Even though it may seem as though no good could possibly come from it, you will realize with experience that it's really the only way that good can come from it. God bless you in your search for truth.